Hello and welcome Blender Hobbies. In this video <coughs> I'm gonna show you how to make a volcanic island with uh, GIS Blender GIS add-on make a ter terrain. I'm going to make a volcanic island. So I will start from big b uh, from zero to the end. So I'm going to open a new <coughs> Blender file and I'm going to press X to delete this and press N to open screen K if you want to know how to you, uh, download this uh, you should watch my video and now press N again and you can see <coughs> my window first of all uh, you have to go to uh, Chrome and uh, search for Blender GIS. Go to GitHub and press code, download zip file, which is I have downloaded before. And go to <coughs> Edit, Preference, Install, Downloads, Blender GIS Master. And install add-on then press search uh, bar search for guess it must be clicked and save preference now <coughs> I'm going to show you two most important tip one you have to uh, click Z to look at from top and if you press guess you can't adjust this window I want a square uh, island so I'm going to adjust this window press guess go to web geodata base map your source must be Google and your layer must be satellite and press OK <coughs> and now press G to go I'm going to search for Miyake Japan Islands and I'm going to adjust my zoom level 13 press OK and you can see our very beautiful volcanic islands <coughs> and now this is uh, after this it is it's very easy press middle mouse button and E as you can see it is uh, square and now press web geodata get elevation uh, as our TM and press OK oh and go to your Uh, modifier your strength must be 4 as you see it is very beautiful island now and <coughs> but it, it you can see it it looks very shiny now oh, we can add here Adam Sun It looks very shiny as you can see go to shading and sorry go to layout go to press this one and now go to shading and uh, increase your roughness to 0 0.9 um, go to layout again and you can see it, it it is not shiny now if you think it is uh, this is very beautiful I think you can use this but um before this if you uh, I use it uh, another uh, ge geodata uh, from uh, marine something 
I don't uh, the uh, site uh, name. If you don't like this, uh, see you can add a uh, water or something else for this video for just this video I'm going to make a very uh, simple C I'm going to add a image as a plane I'm going to go to downloads C1 oh import image and press S to scale and it must be 2000 2000 2000 because your island is very big oh ninety degree S to scale oh Um, I'm going to adjust this like S to scale. Oh, yeah, I think it, it looks better if you want it. One. I'm going to e to extrude to that. Sorry, control that. E to extrude that. That okay. It looks better. Yeah, you can adjust it. I think for just this video, it is it is enough. You can make your okay. I think that this is better uh, C wheel, uh, but for part two, I'm going to make more realistic water. I actually I want to do that, but I hope I am going to do, uh, make that. How? Sorry. If you want to. Um. click this and subdivide don't subdivide too much that's enough as you can see there is more details if you want to more detail subdivide again but your file is uh, too much for some uh, computer or if you want to uh, look at it from your uh, mobile phone and I realize that, that if you want to look at uh, this view in your form you should export it as FBX or GLB but if uh, for uh, application I use uh, in my computer my phone I couldn't see uh, the image on the uh, terrain so uh, in FBX mode uh, format uh, but if you export it as GLTF or GLB uh, you can see in your phone as uh, as a terrain with this image you can add uh, some uh, trees and something else but I think this is very good uh, I hope you enjoy for this video I'm going to make part two to add water more beautiful water to to, do to this island this very beautiful Japan island <coughs> and I hope I will do that uh, but I think this is good see if you like this video please thumbs up
like my uh, video and subscribe my channel.